Have you ever wondered how a colossal rocket like SpaceX's Starship is prepared for launch? Or how environmental regulations impact its liftoff? In a world where space exploration is making history, the process isn't as straightforward as it might seem. Join us as we delve into the intricate details of SpaceX's preparations for the Starship's next launch, environmental considerations, and the regulatory challenges it faces. In the world of space exploration, history is being made right before our eyes. Located in Boca Chica, Texas, SpaceX's development site known as Starbase is abuzz with anticipation. The full stack of Ship 25 and Booster 9 instills hope for witnessing the imminent liftoff of this colossal rocket. Just a month ago, this community experienced a surge of excitement as the rocket was initially stacked following its launch four months earlier. However, the joy took a hit when the FAA denied the launch license, leading to the destacking of the rocket. Now, the atmosphere is charged once again as the launch date appears to be approaching. SpaceX recently conducted the first full stack test of Booster 9 and Ship 25 in preparation for the launch. The Challenge of Stacking Starship Stacking the Starship presents a colossal engineering challenge of epic proportions. The undertaking involves combining the Booster 9 and Ship 25 to form the largest rocket ever constructed. The booster, known as Super Heavy, commands attention with its staggering height of 70 meters, while the Starship matches this colossal sculpture standing tall at 50 meters. When the two components are assembled, the resulting rocket boasts a jaw-dropping weight of 85 tons, even when completely empty. What makes this process so intricate is the meticulous precision required to stack these massive components on top of each other. SpaceX's team of engineers and technicians, known for their pioneering spirit, had to approach this task with the utmost care and precision. They faced a complex process that unfolded in four distinct stages of stacking. Each of these occasions showcased the monumental challenge of piecing together the various segments of the world's largest rocket. This feat exemplifies the cutting-edge technology, innovation, and ambition of human space exploration, pushing the boundaries of what is possible in the quest for interstellar exploration and travel. The recent test conducted by SpaceX isn't just a routine procedure. The freezing temperatures of cryogenic fuels play a crucial role in the success of the Starship. Booster 9 displayed a noticeable layer of frost during the test, signifying a significant drop in temperature inside the rocket. Temperatures plummeted to levels between negative 60 to negative 20 degrees Celsius, which is essential for the stability and effectiveness of cryogenic fuels like liquid oxygen and liquid methane. Unlike traditional rockets, Starship's steel tanks are intentionally designed without insulation. When filled with cryogenic liquids, these tanks experience rapid cooling, allowing them to efficiently contain these cold cryogens. The extreme temperature difference between the interior and exterior of the rocket leads to the visible layer of frost or ice on the ship's surface, demonstrating the success of this unique design. Another distinctive feature of the Starship design is its approach to managing the gas state of cryogenic fuels. When cryogenic liquids react with the warmer ambient temperature outside the rocket, they tend to expand and transition into a gaseous state. In many rockets, maintaining optimal pressure inside the tanks can be a challenge when this happens, ensuring that the internal pressure remains within desired limits. This design choice has multiple advantages. Firstly, a steel structure without insulation is inherently more robust and reduces complexities related to foam shedding and insulation breakdowns. Secondly, by allowing the natural formation of frost or ice, SpaceX can avoid using additional materials or systems to manage tank temperatures, simplifying the design and potentially reducing costs. SpaceX didn't just conduct the test, they also showcased the capabilities of their recently installed water dilute system. The system was introduced in response to the significant damage incurred on the launch pad during the first test flight in April 2023. The force of the 33 Raptor engines in the initial test caused extensive damage to the infrastructure, even digging a hole beneath the launch pad. Recognizing the potential risks in future launches, SpaceX implemented the water dilute system to counter the extreme heat and sound produced during liftoff. The system has been tested twice in the past two months, 
with early indications suggesting its effectiveness in mitigating the rocket's tremendous thrust and protecting the infrastructure below. However, the use of such a vast amount of water has not been without criticism. Environmentalists and local communities have voiced concerns about the potential environmental impact. The primary worry revolves around the substantial water consumption and its potential effects on the surrounding wildlife and ecosystems. The space community is buzzing with anticipation for the second launch of the Starship. There are growing indications pointing to a specific time frame for this event. A maritime notice has detailed significant preparations by SpaceX, with November 1st standing out as the probable launch date. While the exact timing retains a degree of unpredictability, backup plans have been devised for subsequent days, with a shorter wait potentially as brief as 10 days, before the world might witness the largest rocket ever soar into the skies. However, there is a snag in the countdown, the all-important regulatory approval. SpaceX is still evading the launch license from the U.S. Federal Aviation Administration FAA, and the delay caused by the regulatory process is frustrating both the company and space enthusiasts. The Federal Aviation Administration is entrusted with the critical responsibility of granting SpaceX's launch license. This process has encountered several hurdles that are delaying the Starship's next flight. One significant factor contributing to these delays is the regulatory scrutiny faced by the space industry as a whole. The industry is evolving at an unprecedented pace, with companies like SpaceX pioneering innovations in rocket design and travel. This rapid evolution has forced regulatory bodies like the FAA to adapt to new and unique challenges, which can slow down the approval process. Furthermore, the environmental impact assessments have become a focal point of regulatory scrutiny, and SpaceX's rapid development and testing cycle in Boca Chica have attracted attention from environmental groups and regulatory agencies. This has resulted in a more time-consuming and complicated approval process. SpaceX's progress with Starship is nothing short of revolutionary. The recent tests underscore the company's technological prowess and the ingenuity behind the Starship's design. The launch of SpaceX's Starship is a highly anticipated event, representing a significant milestone in the advancement of space exploration. However, the magnitude of this undertaking demands rigorous safety and environmental assessments, while also necessitating the adaptation of regulatory procedures to keep pace with the evolving space industry. The safety of Starship's launch is paramount. The vehicle is designed to carry humans and cargo to the Moon, Mars, and beyond, and any failure during launch could have catastrophic consequences. Therefore, SpaceX must conduct thorough safety assessments to identify and mitigate any potential risks. These assessments should cover all aspects of the launch, including the vehicle's design, construction, testing, and launch operations. SpaceX should also develop contingency plans to address any unexpected events. Starship's launch will have some environmental impact, such as noise pollution and emissions. SpaceX must conduct environmental assessments to quantify these impacts and identify ways to minimize them. One of the most significant environmental concerns is the impact of Starship's emissions on the ozone layer. The vehicle's engines will emit nitrogen oxides, which can deplete the ozone layer. SpaceX is working on developing technologies to reduce emissions, such as using methane as a propellant. The space industry is rapidly evolving and existing regulations may not be adequate to address the challenges posed by Starship's launch. For example, the current regulations governing noise pollution at launch sites may not be sufficient to protect nearby communities from Starship's powerful engines. Regulators must be willing to adapt their procedures to accommodate the evolving space industry. This will require close collaboration between SpaceX and regulators to ensure that Starship's launch is conducted safely and in an environmentally responsible manner. Striking the balance between innovation and regulation is essential for the success of Starship's launch. SpaceX must prioritize safety and environmental protection, while regulators must be willing to adapt their procedures to accommodate the evolving space industry. By working together, SpaceX and regulators can ensure that Starship's launch is a success propelling humanity further into the cosmos while protecting our planet. The launch of Starship is a pivotal moment in the history of space exploration. By striking the balance between innovation and regulation, humanity can take a giant leap forward in our quest to explore the cosmos. And with that, we conclude our video. 
If you have any questions or topics you'd like us to delve into next, please share your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks for joining us on today's video.